the lantern ground yes access to more lanterns that's what i needed <laughs> let's go again it works a bit similarly to the pistol ground but obviously they hold a lantern but unlike the pistol it can have two different variations so the lantern the grunts are holding can be either lit or unlit or not lit and uh, depending on that it will uh, cause different different uh, effect in the world once it's break so yeah again obviously the grunts can attack you with their melee attacks using the lantern and uh, after they hit you like uh, the same with the pestle grunt the lantern will break on impact what happens are when the lantern breaks as some people might know, if the lantern is lit, there will be a fire explosion. And if the grunt hit you, you're probably catching on fire and you're going to want to hold that uh, button to put yourself out. Um, if the lantern was not lit, though, it will create a pool of oil uh, on the ground that can be lit up later. So you want to make sure you're not going to be standing in that. Correct. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, take a look at the lantern grunts in the video format and we'll continue commenting on them. I again, the same spot for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like think... how he's flailing it around and one of his hands getting ready to hit yeah. you. Yeah, we will show it in nighttime too because the shadows are like spinning around when he uh, spins the lantern. So obviously this was the case with the lit uh, lantern. And uh, as soon as the ground hit you, it did set himself and you as well on fire. <laughs> A little bit similar to the minor grunts that we released with the uh, launch of Desal, uh, but something different with these lantern grunts that you'll see is if you actually take out the lantern grunt before he hits you with his lantern, uh, that lantern will drop on the ground and become a normal in-game lantern that you could interact with, like if you picked it up from a compound. Um, where the minor grunt, you can never use their fire to your advantage. If you see this lantern grunt and you can take him out before they hit you, you can grab that lantern and maybe uh, burn an enemy player or use it to take out an armored something like that and use it to your advantage. Yeah, and meanwhile, we are seeing the unlit variation of the grunt. Uh, as you saw, if they hit you and the lantern breaks, then it will cause an oil puddle on the floor. The difference is uh, that you're not getting set on fire, basically, uh, because I, saw, I see someone saying they couldn't see the difference. That's a pretty big difference. <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to want to hang out in that uh, puddle for too long, though, so make sure you're keeping an eye out. Uh, also, due to... Uh, the fact that we want to be able to interact with the lantern once that grunt is taken out uh, you're not able to shoot the lantern out of the grunt's hand while they're walking so if you do try to shoot them it will interact like a regular grunt it'll only be when they try to melee you that that fire explosion could happen and that's just to preserve that lantern so you can actually use it once the the grunt has been taken out uh, yeah, and uh, yeah, as again, in this video, as Ari mentioned, if you kill the grunt, or actually, even if you just shoot their arms, not the lantern, they will, in fact, drop the lanterns to the floor. And unlike in the pistol grunt's case, where you cannot pick the pistols up, in this case, you can pick the lantern up. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, the lantern will be always turned off in this case uh, to make sure it doesn't explode. So even if the lantern was lit, you kill the grunt, and when it falls on the floor, it will be unlit for you. So the lantern will fall, uh, it won't explode, but just like any other lantern around the world that you pick up, when you throw it, it will be a lit lantern that will explode on the first throw. So if you do want to throw the lantern and have it unlit, you'll still need to use that um, like selector button to change the mode of the lantern to off. Here you could actually see what Ari just said. So the lantern was lit. When it falls on the floor, it will be unlit until uh, someone picks it up. But as soon as it's picked up, it's uh, lit again, basically. And here you can see the funny shadows as the lantern is moving <laughs> around the ground. <laughs> it reminds me of almost like a, a spotlight on the grunt. Yeah, true. You can see Looks it very easily in the night map. I cannot wait to get set on fire by the grunt. I was going to say, do you think you're going to be able to use the lantern to your advantage more, or do you think you're going to get lit on fire more? Like, uh, that's a good, good question, actually. I, I saw someone asking if uh, there's now lanterns in the scrap big compounds, and I'm not sure we can answer that. That's a very good question. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Like, that could be a really good way to, to get fire from a scrap big compound if it works like that. Yeah, so uh, we'll have to get back to you that on that later because we actually do not know. <laughs> but it's a good question. Uh, yeah, I love the theory crafting already coming from the community, even only after hearing about the idea for like a few minutes. 
Some people are asking how to, oh, I didn't know that you can actually turn the lanterns off, which has been the case for quite a long time. So you have to press the X key by default on PC, which is, by the way, also the key to switch to secondary fire modes or to take off uh, aperture sights on certain guns. Uh, but yeah, if you pass, press X with your lantern, then it will be either lit or unlit, depending on how it was before. Yeah, if you ever have a friend in there annoying you a little bit, just pick up a lantern, turn it off, and throw it at them and watch them scream as they try to get out of the blast radius. Exactly. But then it just tumbles to the ground, making a funny noise. Oh yeah, and someone uh, actually said it's uh, up on D-pad on a controller uh, for the console players. 